Over the weekend, a young soldier met his untimely death in a Sherman, following which the military unleashed its full force in a quest to arrest the perpetrators. Civilians were brutalized, battered, and bundled into military custody. An enraged member of parliament, Enes Nogbe, seeking to use his parliamentary tools, was beckoned to hold it as the Defense and Interior Committee, which he is a part of, has taken a keen interest in the matter. We pleaded with our honorable member from Ashama. I don't, I don't wish to be in his shoes. Normally, he's very loud on the committee, but today, <laughs> what I can't we say, Bema <laughs> Emre. He's so worried. I haven't seen him so down like this before, which means it has taken a toll on him and we all sympathize with him. The military high command was summoned to parliament on Thursday to meet the committee. We, as members of the committee, cannot inflame passions by going there to make comments that were annoying a fashion. We are not to do that. Our mission is to make sure we have peace in this country. The unfortunate incident that happened, we have all condemned it. And minister has even apologized on behalf of the military that they admit that they were SSS. For the defense minister, the military deserves some respect. Incidents like this in the life of uh, the country do happen. We are shaping up a, a country and um, we are going to have some of these incidents, regrettable incidents happening. There. But I will still appeal to the people of Ghana to be very respectful of people in uniform. It will help all of us. But we cannot say, I will not say anything until the committee itself and us have gone on Thursday to the place and visited the place to ascertain for ourselves. Uh, one of the reasons why we are not going immediately is that investigation is still ongoing. We don't want to compromise whatever investigation uh, that will happen. And that's why we, uh, we task our, our colleagues to tone down on the statement so that we can all work together as unionism to ensure that this tricky situation is brought under control. We want a peaceful Ghana, that's all. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.